Today we're going to take a look at some more tools that allow for browserless consumption of the internet. That way there's no need to follow any spyware mitigation guides for your particular browser. You don't have to worry about installing add-ons to protect you from spyware. These are simple tools and you should always remember that the spooks hate simplicity. They fear the terminal and what it can do to protect your privacy. So the first tool that we're gonna take a look at allows you to scrape Reddit images and then view them in your terminal with SXIV or any other image viewer. That just happens to be the same one that the uh, author of the script happened to use. So in the readme here, we can see to set it up, you're gonna to have to create a cache directory and you're gonna to have to create a redyt directory inside of your config folder. And you'll also have to create a subreddit.txt file. Now, you don't actually have to put anything in this subreddit.txt file. You should just think of this as like a favorites list. So you'll probably wanna put the name of subreddits uh, that you're gonna view a lot. Uh, so let's take a look at this here in my terminal. Uh, so we'll do redyt. And then you can see that's the list of uh, subreddits that I talked about. So why don't we just do like memes? And then there we go. So now we have all of these images from the subreddit. I can hit enter to go into the thumbnail mode. So you can see they're all loaded here inside of my terminal. Oh, this one's actually pretty good. Leave a F in the comments for to pay respects to Flash. Uh, so yeah, there you go. We're able to look at subreddits. Um, we can also do this. So like I said, it doesn't have to, you don't have to put all of the subreddits into that uh, text file. You can type in like Linux memes. So I don't have that in the file. And then there we go. So we're looking at all the images from r slash Linux memes. Now, I know that someone's probably gonna say it. So obviously you can't see comments uh, you're not creating a Reddit account to do this, so you can't get that precious karma and those awards and all that stuff that Reddit does. Um, so this is going to be for people that don't care about all of this stuff. Uh, personally, I'm not really interested in seeing comments from Reddit. I usually find them unfulfilling and... Uh, you know, their, their rules and stuff on there usually makes it so that quality bans are not possible. So I'm not really interested in having an account on Reddit. If you are, then I guess you have to actually use Reddit to view the stuff. Uh, so yeah, there you go. And why don't we take a look at how this script actually works because uh, it's, it's pretty tiny, you know, there's not a lot of code behind it. So basically what we've got going on here is this is just setting up D menu to display that subreddit TXT, your list of favorites essentially, and prompt you to enter the name of the subreddit you wanna look at. Uh, then we have this cache that's being set up here for however many uh, posts that you want to load into it. And then it's just notify send. So this won't show up if you don't actually have, uh, I think it's like xlib notify or something like that on your system. Uh, if you do have it, then you'll get a notification dialog that pops up, but that's not a hard dependency. As you saw, the script worked without it. Uh, then it's just curling your, uh, your link that you passed to it. So you've got the subreddit, but here we see it's looking for a JSON. So, you know, this is normally what like nature is metal would look like if you just loaded it into your browser. But if we get rid of uh, this, Actually, we want to look at the JSON of it. So there you go. If you just put like .json at the end, you get this page. So the JSON is essentially a way that's easier for the data to be parsed by different programming languages. So uh, you probably wouldn't browse Reddit this way if you're doing it through the browser. But like if we go to, let's see, this would be the fourth post and then data and then URL overridden. This should be the image of our crocodile bro, and there we go. So this is basically what's getting grabbed by that script. And then, like I said, it's putting it into that cache directory. And then when you exit out of it, it's just going to remove all of them. And of course it has support for JPEGs, PNG, and GIF files. So if you want to download this, you could just go ahead and get it from the GitHub. 
I'll go ahead and leave a link to it in the directory below, I mean in the uh, description below. Um, so the next tool that we're gonna take a look at is for scraping YouTube videos, well, actually watching, get, getting YouTube videos and being able to search for them from the command line as well. Uh, and also, I just wanted to mention Bugs Writer since he also has a YouTube channel. So this is the same author of the script that we just took a look at. Uh, I think he has a video about it on his channel as well. Yeah, this one here. So yeah, he does, he does the YouTube thing. Definitely check him out if you wanna see other tools that he's gonna make in the future. Um, so yeah, we'll take a look at this one next. This is by, I guess, Sayan or Sayan. I uh, hope I'm pronouncing your name right. So this, again, just like this uh, Reddit script, allows us to get content from YouTube and it's not even using their API. Uh, that should have been obvious from looking at the source code, but yeah, this guy's script doesn't use Reddit's API, and this isn't using YouTube's API. Uh, so basically, it's kind of doing the same thing with MPV, like I've made videos about how you can play YouTube links in MPV. Uh, so obviously that's gonna be a dependency of it, and YouTube DL, uh, you need a fuzzy finder, and you need either Rofi or Dmenu, so you've got a little bit of flexibility there. So in a nutshell, what this is doing is it's getting a link from YouTube and by using YouTube search functions, so the results that you get are going to be displayed similarly to what you would get if you actually went to YouTube and searched for something. Uh, of course, there's not gonna be like the algorithm filtering the results because there's no accounts associated with this, so keep that in mind. Uh, and then it shows you the titles and then you choose one, it uses MPV to play it on your desktop. So. On my system, I named it to YTS, just because I already had uh, another alias for YT. And so search, so let's, why don't we just do Bugs Writer? Let me see, is it two Gs or one? One G. So we can just search for him. And uh, here we go, I think this is that one of him showing his own Reddit script. And so now it's playing an MPV. So you can full screen it, you can do everything else that MPV allows you to do. And of course you're not gonna see the thumbnail of it. I'm pretty sure that YouTube needs scripts in order to view thumbnails because uh, just on um, like I know when you disable scripts in your browser, usually you don't see thumbnails in YouTube if you disable all scripts that is. So if you can figure out what content you want to watch just based off of like just the title, then this is going to be a pretty good solution for you watching YouTube without the browser. So hope you enjoyed, hope you're gonna find these scripts useful. Have a great rest of your day.